Today's class, I am going to solve few problems based on divisibility test. Uh, last class, I have solved uh, divisibility by 9 and divisibility by uh, 11, where how it is possible and all if n is represented in the decimal expansion. Now, suppose the number is expanded, integer uh, n is expanded to the base b, okay, like this n equal to a m b power m plus a m minus 1 b power m minus 1 like that a 1 b plus a naught means the number integer n is expanded to the base b a i's are the coefficients if an integer is represented like this then b minus 1 divides n if and only if b minus 1 divides the sum of the coefficients in the expansion. It's similar to uh, divisibility test by 9 and divisibility test by 11. Similar to that kind. Okay. Suppose this expansion. Suppose if I write the polynomial expansion of x as summation k ranging from 0 to m a power k i mean a k b power k instead of b i have taken x so well if it if i write it like this if it's a polynomial function of x and i know that any integer is congruent to 1 mod b minus 1 Okay, I'm using this result so that polynomial function of B is congruent to P of 1 mod B minus 1. Okay, so summation P of B is nothing but summation K ranging from 0 to M A K X power K which is congruent to summation K ranging from 0 to M a k in place of x i have 1 1 power k that is nothing but 1 so i'm not going to write that mod b minus 1 okay now n is this is n n is congruent to this summation is nothing but a m plus a m minus 1 dash dash a 1 plus a 0 mod b minus 1 right so i can write and this is nothing but 0 mod b minus 1 when i take it so i can just write it as so this just implies n is congruent to 0 mod b minus 1 if and only if this whole summation uh, whole sum is congruent to 0 mod b minus 1. So, n is congruent to 0 mod b minus 1 if and only if sum a m a m minus 1 dash dash a 1 plus a naught is congruent to 0 mod b minus 1. So, I can just write b minus 1 divides n if and only if this sum a naught plus a 1 dash dash a m divides n sorry i'm sorry b minus 1 divides n if and only if b minus 1 divides the sum a naught uh, plus a 1 dash dash a m uh, i'll just take an example uh, check uh, whether the integer n equal to say one zero one zero nine zero big number eight eight nine nine without performing the actual division determine whether this integer is divisible seven or not. For that, what I do is, I am using the same result, b minus 1 divides n if and only if b minus 1 divides the 
uh, coefficients sum of the coefficients okay so for that first thing is i have to write this n in terms of the uh, expansion to the base uh, 8 i'm using this result 8 expansion in the sense i have to calculate the uh, octal representation of this n to write it to the base 8 okay for that number i'll write 1 0 i hope you know how to convert the uh, integer into octal form binary form like that i hope you know so i'm just doing the calculation over here Eight and twenty one, two, six, three, six, three, six, eight, one, and two, and the remainder is three. I hope you know. I'll just finish the calculation part. So I have calculated the uh, octal form of the integer n. Okay, this can be written as uh, 7, 4, 2, 0, 2, 3, 8, 7, 3, 4, 3 to the base 8. Okay, and the expansion is, expansion is same as writing n equal to 7 into 10 to, uh, sorry, not 10, 8. 8 to the base 9 plus 4 into 8 power 8 plus 2 into 8 power 7 0 plus 2 into 8 power 5 sorry 7 6 and 5 then plus 3 into 8 power 4 plus 7 into 8 power 3 plus 3 into 8 power 2 <coughs> plus 4 into 8 plus 3 into 8 power 0 that is 1 in fact okay this is the expansion now you can observe <coughs> a naught is 3 a1 is 4 a2 is 3 a3 is 7, A4 is 3, A5 is 2, A6 is 0, A7 is 2, A8 is 4 and A9 is 7. You got all the coefficients now. Now you are applying the, uh, this divisibility test b minus 1 divides n if and only if b minus 1 divides some of the coefficients okay uh, here base is 8 uh, okay i have written b equal to 8 okay so now some of the coefficients i'm considering a naught plus a1 dash 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 up to a9 in this case it is uh, 7 plus 4 plus 2 plus 0 plus 2 plus 3 plus 7 plus 3 plus 4 and plus 3 okay so total comes out to be thirty five. so b minus 1 is 7 7 divides 35 therefore i can say this is possible only if 7 divides and so 7 divides n b minus 1 divides n if and only if b minus 1 divides sum of the coefficients here b minus 1 divides uh, sum of the coefficients therefore you can write 7 divides n so this is the easiest way if any number is given to you uh, uh, and it is asked to find uh, whether it is divisible by some other integer or not you have to take up you have to use this result okay this is helpful if the number is just uh, have to check whether it is divisible by uh, 7 or uh, say 15 okay in those cases 
so that you can write the number in octal form and or hexadecimal form and then you can check it out okay now suppose the question is like integer n is given to you and it is represented in the decimal expansion and you have to check whether it is divisible by 7 11 and 13 so let us go let n is represented in the decimal expansion okay uh, prove that 7 11 13 all divide the integer n if and only if usually continuation will be you will be given with the expression in this case it is said if and only if 7 11 13 divides this m and m has got this expansion or this expression okay let us see how to do this first let me calculate since see if it is asked only check whether it is divisible by 7 then you could have gone by the other uh, earlier method okay now it is said that it is dividing um, divided by all 7 11 and 13 okay so this has got a uh, different divisibility test so first let me take the product of this okay 7 into 11 into 13 77 Well, yeah hmm. now we know say this the sum you are getting as 1001 I mean product you are getting it as 1001 we know uh, this is nearly this is equal to 10 to the power 3 nearly okay uh, that gives you 1000 now see all these are all these coefficients are in the powers of 10 okay i have to take mod of this so i know 10 to the power 3 is 1000 so i'll use this only okay this hint i'll use uh, and the value of n uh, depending on whether it is even or odd i'm going to get different values over here right so i'll just rewrite that if n is even hmm, then 10 to the power 3n it is nothing but 10 to the power 3 is 1000 okay so some multiples of 3 i'm getting which will be congruent to one more 1001 i hope you got it okay similarly if n is even and 10 to the power 3n plus 1 one more power then that will be congruent to 10 more 1001 and 10 to the power 3 n plus 2 is congruent to 100 more 1001 i always forget to put this bracket now this is all if n is even suppose if n is odd then 10 to the power 3n is congruent to negative value, right? If it is odd, n is odd, hmm? it is congruent to minus 1 more 1001. Similarly, 10 to the power 3n plus 1 is congruent to minus 10 more 101. 10 to the power 3 n plus 2 is congruent to minus 100 more 1001. Thus, I can say this n. See, now this whole expression has only 100, 10, 1. Same thing I am getting by using the powers of 10. Right? So, I can write n equal to am 10 to the power m dash 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 plus a 110 plus a naught is congruent to this n is congruent to see this i can split it okay i can combine all the terms see these powers of 10 comes under one of this right so all of this 
are congruent to only these three possibilities right so i'll mug up i'll take up these six possibilities so i'll take up all those even powers and i'll take up all those odd powers so whatever comes out when i take congruent modulo 101 they are only this right so i'll combine now i'll combine 100 first uh, so 100 a2 a, a, a 2 into 10 to the power 2 just uh, I have not written a 2 10 square okay so this has got 10 square means 100 so I'll take up that then this is a 1 10 plus a naught next this is a 3 10 power 3 right 10 power 3 is 10 power 3 into odd odd number 1 right so this is 10 power 3 which is nothing but minus 1 mod 101 uh, so, so, sorry 1001 so I'll take up that it is um, 100 sorry not 100 it is 1 okay 1 into a3 because this is a3 10 cube which is nothing but minus 1 so minus 1 into a3 so this is minus 1 into a3 similarly a power 4 i can write it as my a for a power 4 into minus 10 like that i'm writing the expansion this is after taking modulo 1001 modulo 1001 so i can write in total n is congruent to 0 mod 1001 okay if and only if m is congruent to 0 mod 1001 n is congruent to this m only itself with respect to modulo 1001 so in in short i can just write it n is congruent to 0 mod 1001 if and only if m is congruent to 0 mod 1001 so this is the divisibility test by 7 11 and 13 so number will be given to you and you have to check uh, without performing actual division you have to check whether it is divisible by 7 11 13 all three numbers okay if it is asked only seven then you can expand the number uh, to the base eight and you have you can follow the previous method okay since it is asked seven eleven thirteen you have to go by this way just by writing m as the expansion i take up the problem the same number uh, 10 10 90 8 8 99 this number i'm taking and i have to check whether this is divisible by 7 11 and 13 okay so this is already written in the uh, decimal form only so a naught is 9 a1 is 9 a2 is 8 like that a total uh, 9 10 numbers are there so a9 is 1 now I'll use the expansion of M. It is 100 A2 plus 10 A1 plus A0 minus dash 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 dash. This is plus I'm sorry. This is minus alternate positive negative signs. Okay. Till uh, A9 10th uh, term is there. So we have to write. These two are not necessary to write. They are not there. But A9 is included. Okay. Now I'll just substitute and I'll do the calculation part. hundred and a eight a eight is zero plus ten a seven a seven is one plus a six is zero minus a eleven is not there a ten is not there only a nine is there a nine is one so it is one I hope you can see sorry yeah m equal to this much so I'll do the calculation it's around eight hundred 90 plus 9 so minus 900 uh, minus 8 plus 10 and minus 1 so 800 and this 90 plus 10 is 100 so that this is total 900 that will get cancelled with this 
then minus 8 minus 1 is minus 9 this this and this will get cancelled so I can just write this is equal to 0 so 1001 I can directly write 7 divides n 11 divides n and 13 divides n it is congruent to 0 more 1001 1001 is nothing but the product of 7 11 13 so it is divisible by 7 11 and 13 last problem uh, prove that 6 divides n if and only if 6 divides the integer m which has got this expression a naught plus 4a1 plus 4a2 up to 4a m so it's divisibility by 6 see we know n uh, I this if it's not given it means that it is written in the decimal expansion okay it is known to that now we know 10 is congruent to 4 more 6 and 10 square that is 100 is congruent to 6 so it's a 16 more 6 which is in turn is congruent to 4 mod 6 then 10 power 3 again you are going to get as 4 mod 6 you can check it out okay so similarly 10 power k gives me 4 mod 6 in, in fact I am using induction on powers of 10 okay it is true when i gave 10 power 1 it is 4 mod 6 10 power 2 it is true so let's take 10 power k this the result is true okay now suppose if i give n equal to power is k plus 1 then it is 10 power k plus 1 which is congruent to 10 power k is congruent to 4 right so 10 power k plus 1 can be written as 10 power k into 10 which is nothing but which is congruent to 10 power k is congruent to 4 mod 6 and 10 is congruent to 4 mod 6 so it is 4 into 4 mod 6 which in turn can be written as 4 mod 6 right so I can write n equal to a naught with c 10 is congruent to 4 mod 6 a naught means 10 power 0 okay so there is no 10 in that so it is written like that only and then after all the terms as not are nothing but powers of 10 10 power 1 is 4 so 4 a 1 like that 4 a 2 dash dash up to if there are m terms 4 a m which is congruent to 4 mod 6 so this is and therefore you can write it as congruent to this mod 6 if and only if uh, so you can write just 6 divides n if and only if this divides n okay uh, this is divisibility by 6 i'm just i just brief the answer you do it by yourself in my next video i'm going to discuss about linear congruences and here in this if you have any doubt then please uh, ask your questions in the comment section thank you